I mean, the main challenges were for us, for sure, to transfer the Lamborghini DNA into the electrified world. On one hand, we have increased the power by 30% and decreased the CO2 emissions by or even by 30%. And the main ingredient for this is for sure the hybrid drive train. But there were also a lot of, let me say, small modifications on the combustion engine, on the aerodynamic resistance, on the rolling resistance. So it's really an overall improvement. The 8-speed double-clutch gearbox is a transversal gearbox. This has two advantages. Advantage one, it's a very compact power unit, so the center of gravity is very close to the center of the car. And secondly, the compact format allows us to have a real diffuser in the car. The result for the driver is that he has a very huge bandwidth of driving characteristics. You can have very fast shifting, you can have smooth shifting, and you can have also a very emotional shifting. And on top, we have incorporated in this gearbox an electric motor. This electric motor allows us to have a real four-wheel drive car, even in the electric case, if you drive electric. And additionally, it can support the combustion engine in the start situation, in recuperating energy, and also in the power support. Mainly, this is the first car where we have completely changed the architecture. Because in the past, starting from the Countach, the gearbox was always in the tunnel, so between the driver and the passenger. In this car, in this position, we have placed the battery, because this allows us to have also a very, let me say, mass focused on the center point of the car. Therefore, we have rotated the combustion engine by 180 degrees, and the gearbox is now on the back of the car. This is also the reason why I have chosen the transverse layout of the double clutch gearbox. On top, it's the first Lamborghini that has an electric four-wheel drive. It's a real four-wheel drive and the front axle is driven by two independent electric motors. Carbon fiber technology is one of our core pillars of our R&D technology strategy. It has several advantages. Every piece in this new monocoque is entirely new designed. We have combined the latest technologies, RTM, pre brake and even forged carbon. And the main advantage for the whole vehicle is that we have reduced the weight by 10% and on the same time we have increased the stiffness by 25% and this stiffness is very important if you speak about driving dynamics about the chassis setup. Sound is one of our core pillars to generate emotions. Therefore, it's in our development targets really definitely the top prior points. Therefore, we have improved, first of all, the sound of the V12. Secondly, for sure, we have also worked on the electric sound. At low speed, if you drive full electric, we have designed a completely new sound to warn also the pedestrians in a typical Lamborghini way, inspired also by aerospace sound. Allora, l'obiettivo era generare un suono unico, parte della vettura, parte dell'esperienza di guida, eh, caratteristica intrinseca della vettura. Per cui siamo andati alla ricerca di caratteristiche originali eh, non presenti sul mercato. La sfida è stata soprattutto tecnologica in quanto il suono rappresenta anche il contenuto tecnologico della vettura. Abbiamo usato quindi delle tecniche di sound sintesi digitali eh, nuove eh, con eh, alcuni dettagli anche di surrounding 3D eh, contenuti in frequenza particolare. Lamborghini, every surface that we design has to be a high performance surface. The design concept here was really to use a three dimensional shape to give enough um, space for the radiator air intakes in the front to have surfaces big enough to create downforce on the, on the front of the car. But uh, for me, the masterpiece for sure is on the rear. We have this uh, big wing that is uh, movable, so it is super integrated when the, when the wing is closed. It is also embedding these uh, two hexagon uh, exhaust tips, but then it looks also cool when the car is driving and uh, the wing is constantly adapting. One boundary for sure was to keep the typical Lamborghini silhouette 
and especially the front view, uh, keeping the cabin with this uh, strong inclination of the side windows having this typical um, shape of a Lamborghini uh, cabin. But all of the Lions, uh, they wanted to embrace this cabin and they wanted to celebrate the engine because we knew from the beginning this will be a V12 uh, natural aspirated powertrain plus hybrid. So we wanted to show that this is uh, getting in yeah, with a nice uh, flow with all the design lines. So we wanted to integrate um, the engine. The Lamborghini DNA is always composed by our silhouette when, and when you see our cars in front and rear view looking like a spaceship. So you have, especially from rear view, you have also um, the shoulder lines that are very much inclined and especially the rear with the chopped rear end looking a bit like a motorcycle exposing the tires. These are the ingredients to create a Lamborghini. Revuelto is very recognizable in front view with the DRL in the shape of the, the Y, the Y. So highly, highly uh, recognizable when you just imagine you drive this car through the tunnel and you see from a mile away uh, the, the new Lamborghini is arriving. Then the rear, for me, the most iconic feature for sure um, is the hexagonal exhaust pipe. Um, this is, we found this in the, with, the, with the first design sketches and I said this is the design that I want for the rear. Uh, this is so iconic, so recognizable, so much Revuelto. Um, when you see this car, it's clear this is the new Lamborghini. In side view, um, everything is very three-dimensional. The Y shape uh, towards the side air intake, the floating blades uh, on the rear fender. Um, the new wheels, uh, we have new wheels, 21 inch in the front, 22 inch on the rear. Uh, this is unique on the market, doesn't exist on other super sports cars. Around this car you will find everywhere also some little hints on legendary Lamborghinis of the past. But of course this car, the Revuelto, is looking towards the future. It is a, a design that from the beginning we wanted to create the Lamborghini of the next decade.